Hey everybody, welcome back to Code, a responsive website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Styling the Call Out. We're gonna do a few uh, CSS tweaks to the big call out we just coded up in HTML in the previous video because there are a few things that don't quite look that good and we're just gonna use some CSS to customize the default Bootstrap styles to make it look a little bit better. So go to your code editor and open up your styles.css in your website folder and go down to the typography section. The reason why I'm putting it under typography is because there's a couple things typography wise that uh, need to be fixed and I believe that they fall under the category of typography. So well, the class of well and uh, use a descendant, to select, descendant selector to select page header. So we're selecting the page header within uh, the, the well or any well that has a page header within it. Margin top, zero, save that. So I'm gonna show you, there's a lot of margin right here and that's because of this header, this page header. And I don't like that. So if you refresh, that goes away. It looks a little bit better. But there's still a little bit more. The uh, level one heading within page header, that also has some margin. So I wanna get rid of that. So page header inside the well, level one heading, margin top zero, save that. Refresh, even better. That's nice, look at that. Same padding on top, right, bottom and left, it all looks good. And since we are in the typography section, this isn't, this isn't specifically um, call out related, but we're in the typography section. I wanna do something real quick here. Select the body tag and within the body tag, just copy what I'm writing. WebKit font smoothing, anti alias, and text rendering, optimize legibility. Save that. So, what WebKit font smoothing and text rendering do, I'll show you. You can see on our website. The text here on the headers and the you know carousel caption, all this stuff, it's a little chunky. You maybe don't see that, uh, and if you're not using Safari or Chrome, uh, if you're if you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, you won't see these styles. It's just specific to Firefox, um, Chrome, kind of WebKit related browsers. Uh, if I refresh, just take a look at just this section right here. I'll refresh. You see how that kind of tightened up a little bit? It kind of shaved around the edges of the text a little bit. It kind of made it a little more smooth. That's what that style does. And depending on the website, I'll just put it on the body tag. Um, some web developers will argue that it's bad practice to just put it on the body tag and just assume everything should just get the style because sometimes um, it's not, if you have small text, if you had a really small font size or something with not a lot of contrast and you had this uh, text rendering on the text, it might on the font, it might look too too um, thin, and you might not be able to read it. So obviously, readability is most important. Um, but if you have if your elements are uh, they're large like this, then I don't see a problem with it. I actually think it makes the website just look that much better. And as long as you can read everything, as long as everything is readable and usable, then I think it's okay. So. You can experiment with that. You could just put it on your headers if you want. You could just put it on your buttons. You could just put it on uh, your your paragraphs with the class of lead. You could do anything with this, but I'm just gonna put it on body because we're just using this one page website. It looks good on everything. I approve, go ahead and use it. And one last thing, we're just gonna go down to global styles. Global styles. And select alert. And give it margin top. 20 pixels. Save that. And now if you watch here, that has a bit more breathing room. So that looks much better now. Okay, and another thing we're gonna do to the styles for this well, this big call out, is we need to give it some margin on the top because this that's, doesn't quite look right. It's kind of sitting at the top of the, uh, it's, it's, it's just connected to the carousel and it doesn't look good. We need to give it some breathing room.
So in your global styles, select well, and margin will be 20 pixels and zero. So this means top and bottom will have 20 pixels and left and right will have zero pixels. Save that. And if I were to just close this, you'll see that there is some breathing room. Okay, so that is it for the CSS styling the callout, a super short lecture. In the next one, we are going to do a little bit of jQuery for uh, this bad boy. We're gonna make this pop up using jQuery. So I'll see you there, my friends.